All right, so arthritis questions are very high yield on the USMLE. Here's how I approach them. So the first thing that we have to do is define the axes. On the horizontal axis, you see monoarticular versus polyarticular. And on the vertical axis, you see the tempo, acute versus chronic. So let's go through each of these quadrants. Quadrant number one is acute monoarticular. This is going to be a patient who may have septic arthritis. Remember that the next best step in management is going to be an arthrocentesis. You're going to see a positive gram stain and in the vignette, WBC count greater than 50,000 with a preponderance of neutrophils. Typically, this is going to be due to staph or Neisseria. So what if you have a patient on your USMLE with acute polyarticular arthritis, which means that it affects multiple joints? Well, you're still going to be thinking about an infectious arthritis, but you're going to be thinking more viral. Things such as parvovirus B19, watch in the vignette, they may give you that the patient is a daycare worker. Or if the patient had some travel, chikagunya can also cause an acute polyarticular migratory arthritis. Now with chronic monoarticular arthritis, you should be thinking of osteoarthritis. Watch in the vignette for a BMI greater than 30, joint pain that is going to be worse at the end of the day, and first-line treatment being NSAIDs. The USMLE loves for you to know complications of NSAIDs related to decreased prostaglandins, and subsequently you can get GI bleeding as well as acute kidney injury as prostaglandins normally maintain the tone of the afferent arterial. And finally, we have chronic polyarticular arthritis. This is going to be classic for the illness script of rheumatoid arthritis. The key in vignettes is going to be prolonged morning stiffness greater than 30 minutes. These females are going to be treated with methotrexate dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. All right, so let's do a quick rapid review summary. Acute monoarticular arthritis, you're going to be thinking of a septic joint or gout. Acute polyarticular arthritis, you're going to be thinking of a viral arthritis, powerful virus B19. Chronic monoarticular, you're going to be thinking of osteoarthritis. And chronic polyarticular, you're going to be thinking of rheumatoid arthritis. Watch for the systemic symptoms such as fever and weight loss.